Hi, my name is Angela Huffman and I have a quick machine quilting tip for you. This will work on both stand-up machines and sit-down machines. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the path or the flow that is important to kind of master as you grow your free motion quilting skills. And that flow is the over-under flow. So it's the ability to travel around a quilt and have your pattern be both right side up and upside down. And that can throw people sometimes. So I'm gonna write on this whiteboard just so you can see. One of the uh, common uh, ways to learn this is if you take like a lowercase o. So I'm just going to do a lowercase o as it travels around my quilt. And you'll notice that this definitely has a north and a south to it. So if instead, if I want this to travel around my quilt and not have a definite up or down, but can go either direction, I need to be able to rotate this O so that one is north-south, one is south-north. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it just like we did before, where it's north-south. So I've got my base here, my top here, and then I'm gonna travel up and over, and now I'm gonna make the next one. And I'm down and around, and now I'm gonna make the next one. So I can check myself and I can look for where I'm crossing. And if I think about this like the face of a clock, I always wanna make sure that my crossing over is either at 12 o'clock like it is here, or at six o'clock like it is here. So for this one, I did a six o'clock cross and a 12 o'clock cross, and a six o'clock cross, and a 12 o'clock cross and a six o'clock cross, and on and on and on it goes. There are more free motion quilting tips in my class and I would love to have you join me. I've taken great pains to really make some classes and lessons that'll expand your skills and your courage. So I'd love to see you in the classroom.